So on, on this problem, this is a nice linear equation. And the first thing that you want to do is what? Well, we want to distribute. That's the best thing to do here. So we're going to take each of these guys that we have and just distribute. Please make sure that you do not do 4 minus 9. The 9 is connected to this group and that group only. So that's 4 minus, whenever you're ready. It's good, 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 good. That's 18x uh, and then minus 9 times 5. That's right, that's right. Good job. Negative 45. See, when it's really quiet, you can really be in tune to your environment. On the right side of the equation, does the 7x touch the 3 minus 10x? No. He stays out right here. But we do need to distribute the 2. Should be no problem. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times negative 10x is negative 20x. Now, if you want to stay really good here, what should you do for your next step? Let's combine like terms. We don't need to be crazy. We don't need a lot of flashiness. Just combine like terms. And on the left side, what do you get? No, the left, the left side is this one right here. Good. So you only have negative 18x and 4 minus 45 is minus 41. On the right side, what are your like terms? 7x and minus 20x. That's right, that's right. That's negative 13x plus 6. Is there a question on the back row? Is it the, the podcast that you're listening to with your earbuds? Okay, your AirPods or whatever, I see that. You're good? Yeah. So you're not distracted at all? No. That's good. That's good. Now, which side would you like to move your variable terms on? After all, this is linear. You, all you see is x to the first. Wait, remember, always move your variable terms first. Let them lead the way. They are the leaders here in the math world. Where do you want to move them? Okay. I can't, your left or my left? Your left. Okay, you want to add 13x, okay. See, I wouldn't do that. They never listen to me. See, I would have moved my variable terms to the other side because I like to have a positive coefficient. But I'm letting my students help me and guide me on this. So, you can always direct your comments to the students. And now I'm going to move the constant term to the other side. That's right, add 41. Are you proud of yourself? Oh, sorry, I think that broke the rule too loud. What do we have now for our equation? Negative 5x equals 47. Oh, we're almost done. I'm, I'm so excited. I don't know if I can contain myself. Divide both sides by... See, this is why I didn't want to move the variable terms to the left. I don't like having negatives in the denominator. So let's clean this up. And x equals what? Positive divided by a negative is a negative. So we'll say negative 47 over 5. Good. Are there any questions about that one? Again, like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. The thumbs up are always appreciated on this non-monetized channel.